So how to run it? Uh, we need to first load a bar fat example. And later on, we're going to apply a dead weight load to reach a quarter of its ultimate bending stress. Okay. So once you have this, this, this sample, you want to measure the dimension, then we're ready for the test. And to load the test, we just need to, going to put it into this um, rotatory fatigue tester. So it has two fixtures, and we're going to load the sample from the fixture. Okay. Then we have a two pulling wire, that is the, where we add the bending load. So I will show you later. Okay, to load it, you want to expand um, the fixture. Then you load the one, just put into it. Okay. Then you somehow tighten a little bit. And then you, there is a red mark over here. There is a red mark. And you want to load it to the red mark. Okay, then you move the other side. Open it up. Also, at the red mark. All right, you're almost ready. Okay, then you use this to hold the, the insert to this slot. Okay, that's it to hold the, the jaw. And then you use this wrench to tighten it. All right, well, if it's good, then you do the same thing. On this side. thing you're going to do is you're going to add the hanger okay so to do this you want another guy um, another person to lift, lift the leverage and you just put this wire into this hook and you want to tighten it okay it's all so you release it almost set as you can see this two is the, the pin is a joint okay so that means the beam can bend in this direction. And this the load is applied by adding the de dead weight over here. So you have a two point load over here. So you can calculate the bending stress, uh, the, the bending moment by measuring the distance between the pin and the load. And also you want to you know dead weight. Then that's the bending moment acting on this bar. Okay. Then you, if you know if you know the cross section error, the, the cross section of the bar and you can calculate the bending stress. Okay. So then the next thing we want to do is we want to select uh, the load. We select the load by adding dead weight on this leverage. So, <coughs> so this is adjustable, okay? As you can see, we have a pin over here and we have a wire force over here. If you move far back and forth the dead weight, you can basically adjust the, the, the pull force acting on this wire. And we have a load cell, and the value of the, of the load is show up on the screen. You can see, if I change and move it closer um, to the bar, I see that that's, uh, that's smaller, right? If I move far away, it's getting higher. So you want to choose a, proper, um, a correct um, load so that your you bending moment in this fatigue test is like a quarter of the bending stress. Okay? So let's add more. Let's see, hide it. So 20 pounds, that's the pulling force 
and that's the data weight we use in this uh, bending, in this bending experiment. Okay, but you need to calculate it and to choose the right one that reaches a quarter of the bending stress. So once you have this, we're almost ready. Then we need to pull the safety shield to the fatigue test. So you see, there is the white sensor. It's a safety sensor. You want to make sure the white sensor is uh, right, very close, right to attach, very close to this, to the sensor over here. Otherwise, we cannot run the test. Okay. So once you have this. Then you just, just go to work on this spring, okay? Then you want to tear the number of revolution. That's a number of revolution. You want to, uh, want to you just click the zero, and you select four. So the revolution will start with zero, and then once you're ready, you can start the test. Yeah, sometimes this does not sense, and you just need to adjust the position of the safety shield. So you see, uh, our setting of, of RPM is uh, 6,000, and this is the number of revolution of the rotation bar, and you need to wait until the sample fail. okay? It's, um, we would guess the number of cycles need to fail it, it will be about like 10, like 100,000 revolution, so you just sit here to wait, so that's it. So once you fill in, you can see the identical mark of the fracture surface of fatigue. Okay, on that surface, some part portion of surface is pretty smooth, and that's um, that's failure by progress by propagation of the fatigue damage. And you can see some region there are rough surface. That is broken by the uh, brittle failure. Okay. Good luck, students. Have fun.